Hey everybody, I'm doing a solo trip today to the lakes. Um, this is probably going to be my second last day or even probably the last day of the season. Um, it's been a pretty good spring so far. Weather has stayed relatively cool, so that kind of extended the season a little bit. We caught lots of nice fish, so I'm pretty happy with that. So the goal today is to not necessarily catch the biggest fish, but I just want to catch a few fish to bring home. We're going to do another catch and cook episode. And uh, this time we're going to get a professional chef to prepare these rainbow trout. So let's see how it goes. Pressure's on. I have to get some fish today. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's chaotic. Ah. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> uh, that one's a size 14 chromie. Oh, popped off. <sighs> Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> oh. oh, 
Oh no, 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 <laughs> there we go, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> This one here. That's a nice fish, hey? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay everyone, so it's a week later after my fishing trip and look who I'm with. Hi! Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> so my name is Pai from the YouTube channel Pylin's Kitchen. Uh, you may, some of your fans might remember I went uh, spot prawn fishing. Oh, that's right. Spot I prawn I fishing. I spot prawning yeah. with you a while back. Yeah, we did the prawning, catch and cook and we also did the halibut cooking yeah, that was a many long years ago. Time ago. And uh, it's been seven years. Oh wow. So it's been a long time and your channel has grown quite a bit more <laughs> since then, you know. Yeah, so it's... I do Thai cooking for anyone who wants mm -hmm. to to learn Thai cooking, check out my channel. Yep. So we've done a few uh, trout catch and cook videos in the past and I thought, well, let's get a professional to do it for once and uh, I guess a different, I guess, Thai Method. What are methods too, yeah, right? we're gonna do it a uh, Thai style, yeah. which is gonna be quite different. We're gonna deep fry uh, in Thailand. We love to deep fry fish, and so this is gonna be probably different from any other kind of trout preparation you've ever seen in North America. And I've never done this with wild trout, so we're gonna find out how well it works. Yeah, and I was just saying that I've never had deep fried trout before, so I'm excited to try some. And hey. How can you go wrong with deep frying anything? That's true. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I can't wait. I'll let you get to it. Okay. And we'll come back and taste these fish later.
Okay, here we are. Yay. Ty just finished a really delicious trout uh, dish that I've never tried before. Yeah, um, it's very different, isn't it? Like I said earlier, normally I just bake or barbecue trout, which I find kind of repetitive and boring after a while. But um, we just had a taste of that. It's really, really good. Yeah. I love it, yeah. And you were saying it takes away the, the fishy flavor. It takes away some of that trout fishy taste, uh, which I don't really like too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it almost tastes like a white flesh fish. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. Nice and firm and snacky and that sauce. Mm, that sauce. Mm -hmm. That sauce makes it perfect. And so, it'll go on any fish. I'm take another bite. <laughs> yep, definitely. Very, very good. <laughs> make sure you give it a try. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and something you can snack on that we talked about earlier. Yes. It's almost like chips. It's yes. a great summer dish. So yeah, and if you want to check out the recipe for this dish, make sure you head over to Pylin's Kitchen and we'll have a link on the bottom for you to click on and check it out and definitely go out and catch on and enjoy it. Bye! Bye! See you later and good luck fishing! Mm -hmm.